to my channel yeah this is your girl Jura here and today i want us to talk about our health yes you and i our health it's very important and you know that today what i want to talk about is the women it is one of the things that Ghanaians don't like doing yes the women i know you've casted your mind back to the last time you actually dewormed hmm? how long has it been <laughs> it's been so many years so many months you dewormed and only you can tell we take it for granted because we feel that worms can't really harm us and all of that here yeah. in as much as we feel the women is non-threatening and all of that it can be quite fatal yeah it can be quite fatal when it's taken for granted that is one thing that we don't take seriously the women yeah so today i want to start to talk about the women the women so before that let's look at worm infestation yeah worm infestation worm infestation happens when worms affect the intestines and other parts of our body worms someone would say how will i even get worms to get into me forgetting that day in and day out we come across so many things we buy foodstuffs from outside we even buy food from outside we go to market and buy vegetables sometimes we eat without washing our hands and all of that all of these practices can get worms into us so i've written something here the causes of worm infestation okay it's it's it is normally through our daily unhygienic practices that we do sometimes we don't even realize we're doing them but then we do them and it exposes us to worm infestation um working barefoot on the lawns or on the ground yes we eat with unclean hands like i said sometimes you buy food you are so hungry that you don't even wash your hand before you eat even the spoon you pick to eat you don't even wash it before you used to eat yes and also um we drink untreated water or milk yes just because it is water so you feel it's healthy so you just take it you just drink it yeah it also exposes us to worm infestation swimming in a pool with untreated water or a small lick from a pet and all these can lead to worm infestation yeah some of you go to the pool thinking oh, okay the water is clean forgetting that as you dive into the, the water some gets into you through your your eyes your nose your mouth your ears and all of that all of this exposes us to worm infestation don't forget that the pool is not just for you you don't swim in the pool alone so you can develop worm infestation through it like i said like i said some of us have pets some of us have dogs cats and what have you that you normally want to play with they'll be all over you licking you here and there those practices can also expose you to worm infestation here yeah. and now let's look at the symptoms of worm infestation what you would see because we don't like the women so sometimes we, we get some symptoms and then we are wondering what could it be but let's look at some symptoms that would show that we have worm infestation here yeah. you would have lack of appetite you would you wouldn't want to feel like you want to eat because of what they are doing inside you and also you would feel nauseous you would feel like you want to vomit you would lose weight unexplainable weight yes and then sometime in severe cases yeah you would be anemic yes anemic that is how bad worms can be so you would be anemic also you would feel this bloating in your tummy yeah and then you have itchy skin or itchy anus itchy skin or itchy hands you have fever you would have diarrhea and then abdominal pains these are some symptoms that would show that there is something wrong and you need to do well yes let's not take the women for granted or as a mere something that cannot do anything okay now let's look at ways to prevent um or manifestation yeah like I said in the courses, sometimes you go buy veggies and then we just do some shabbishly something and then we feel like, oh, okay, it's clean. Let's wash it thoroughly. The word is thoroughly under running water. Thoroughly. Yes. Let's wash it very well and then let's cook meat. 
meat most of us like meat let's cook it thoroughly let's cook it well because wherever you're going to get it from you don't know what is in there or you don't know how it has been processed let's cook it thoroughly before we eat let's wash and peel or cook raw fruits or vegetables veggies that are supposed to be cooked let's cook it well fruits that are supposed to be peeled let's peel it well and then let's wash the veggies and fruits well before we consume also let's wash our hands hand washing is very important in our day-to-day -day life hand washing yes let's wash our hands thoroughly clean with soap and the running water before we would even eat no matter how hungry you are and also we should avoid raw fish and meat yes that is why you're supposed to cook them fry them before you eat them yes these are some means that are means to prevent worm infestation also let's not forget our personal hygiene personal hygiene yes proper personal hygiene can also help us to prevent worm infestation okay now let's look at the worming the worming yeah the worming can also be known as worming drenching or the helmentization yes now let's look at what the worming is is the giving of an anti-helmentic drug to a human or animal to rid them of helminth parasites such as round worm flukes and tip worm yes this is the women so we don't have to wait until probably we see the symptoms or signs before we we do when it's 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 one thing that most Ghanaians, in fact all of us are are faulty yes sometimes we even forget to take them because yes we are not seeing the the reason why we should live in the worm because we don't see it as anything that is serious but it is important that we do worm someone will ask how many times am i supposed to do worm it is important that we do worm once every three months or depending on how you think you 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 are so hygienic some people live in a very nice environment environment in the sense that they are not really prone to these worms and all of that so some would want to do worm like once every six months which is twice a year but it would be appropriate since we we come into contact with worms in our daily activities so it would be appropriate that we do worm once every three months once every three months let's not wait until a year two years before we start to deworm it is so not healthy we may see deworming as um, anti-threatening like it's not threatening yeah but if taken lightly it can harm us it can really harm us yeah so how often you can take it um, once every three months yeah and then you just walk to the drugstore and get yourself a dewormer if you want to be sure just see a doctor for a prescription. This is where I would end my discussion with you on the women. I hope this is important and we all take our women lives or our women lives important and let's not joke with it. And hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. This is Jora and bye.